thanks for tuning in again. Um, this video is a little bit different to the videos that I normally do, and probably a little bit diffi uh, difficult, different to the videos that you'll see on YouTube about football, whatever you want to call it, trading, gambling, uh, tipsters, all that stuff. Um, because this video is about losing, uh, and at the moment we're on a bit of a losing streak with the uh, MBM draw system, which I'm quick to sort of um, talk about and to big up and sort of tell people about how great it's doing when it's doing well. Uh, at the moment it's doing crap, like um, the last few days. I think um, th what prompted me to do this video was uh, an email from a subscriber, and this isn't this isn't throwing shade at all, like it, entitled to sort of uh, email. And it wasn't a rude email by any means at all, it was just a sort of observation saying that we'd won 2 in 14, I think it was, uh, before today. Um, today we had another 2 and we won 1, which was good, so, so that was um, 3 in 16 spread across you know 16 so it wasn't like losing 13 and then winning three it was 3 and 16 so it was broken up by a few wins but it's not a great record is it that compared to the rest of the month as well we've been doing really well for the rest of the month and compared to that it's a bit crap um but i wanted to address it so it's been bothering me a little bit because it's sort of like I, I, i'm not putting money on it myself because i haven't got the money to spend on on trading at the moment just because of life circumstances and, and whatever um so i'm putting them out there i'm doing all the work and i'm not i'm not benefiting from the wins um so when people are doing great and i'm talking about how great it is i'm not actually obviously i'm getting subscription money i'm not denying that but i'm not um i'm not rolling in in money and basking in the glory in that way but i'm just genuinely pleased for the people who have subscribed because i just want to provide a good service i would just you know like people are emailing saying oh, i've won this that and that over the last few weeks and i'm delighted for you i haven't been winning it but i'm i'm delighted you know that's my prerogative so um so i haven't been losing money on it this weekend but i appreciate that a lot of people have uh if you've been following the tips and they haven't been coming in um and i just want to say that it's it's tough um it's a tough time if if you're relying on that money which i hope nobody is because please 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 don't gamble money that you haven't got to lose um that's the first thing i'd say don't make a, be a betting bank up of money that needs to be spent elsewhere and you're hoping to increase so that you can improve your situation. I've been there, I've tried that, it doesn't work, and it will affect your mental health, and it will affect your lifestyle and possibly your family, so please don't do that. Um, if you're feeling the losses at the moment, if you're feeling the losses particularly hard, it's time to, to stop and to reassess your bankroll, um, because if that money that you're losing is actually making you sort of dwell on the lost lost stake money, then that means that money's not there to be lost. That money's not, um, it, it's not, you're not comfortable in the financial situation of waving goodbye to that money, which you need to be when you start something like this. When you, any sort of trading or gambling, you need to make sure that that money there is written off really from your personal finances. And obviously the plan is to make it into something a lot larger than the, the state money that you put in the seed money. But it needs to be separate. It can't be, okay, I'll put that in there. I'll put that state money in there. I'll put my bankroll in. But then in a couple of weeks, I'll take it out if I need it. It's not going to work like that because if you do get into situations where you hit some uh, a bad run and the variance gets you, then that money's gone. And then are you going to be worrying that you haven't got that money anymore? Because if that's the case, please don't do it. Please don't put that money in there in the first place. Um, I'd never claim that the system's going to make you money, guaranteed. It's been really good over the last, what, three or four months and it will continue to be don't get me wrong this isn't me all doom and gloom saying oh it's all gone pear-shaped it's fu it's fine like it it's variant we're still up for the month um which has been a bit crap over the last few days as quick as it's changed over the last few days it can change again we've seen five win five wins in a row which when you're looking at the odds that we're looking at that boosts you straight back into profit so it's not a problem don't get me wrong i'm not saying that it's all doom and gloom but i appreciate that people will be worried about it and i think it's it's best to talk about it i'm not going to sit here and pretend that everything's rosy and we're winning every day um but i do appreciate that i do post when we're winning um i'll post instagram or a little youtube short saying oh this is brilliant but then obviously i won't post when i'm losing because well it's nothing fun about that is isn't it? <laughs> um like well, i'll try and pretend it's not happening and get on to the next one you know i'll keep improving and but i won't dwell on it so by not dwelling on it i'm not going to necessarily want to post a video about it but but i would appreciate that um I think it's better to be open and it's you know like so anybody out there who's looking at the videos and thinking about subscribing and trying to make a decision i want you to have the whole picture i'm not going to pretend that it wins every single day um because it doesn't so we're on a bit of a run at the moment like i say so it's what three 
what did I say? Three from 16, did I say? Um, it's punctuated in between those. So it's not 16 games without a win. I have. I, I should have looked up. I haven't. It, it probably is about six or seven, isn't it, I think? And then there's a win, six, seven, and a win. But I always say at the start that you should bank for having a, a bankroll of 10 losses. Uh, worth of bankroll in case it goes to 10 I'm pretty sure it, like I'll check I don't think it's been 10 um, so it's still it's still in the position that we were at the start of what I said it won't go that far um, but have have a bankroll have a little bit put aside um, so yeah it's important to be comfortable with your staking be comfortable with losing your bankroll potentially um, and just Trust in the process if you're going to stay. If you're going to stay for the long haul and if you're going to commit to it, just trust in the process and understand that there is variance. Um, and with the odds that we're working at, it will quickly turn back around if we trust the system. If you don't trust the system, please stop putting money on, even if you're a subscriber to the system. Um, and what I've, what I've decided is that I don't want people losing money um, and sitting at home worrying. So anybody that's signed up to a monthly subscription, and this will be open for time going forward um if you signed up to a monthly subscription and you're uncomfortable because you've lost some money in the first couple of weeks drop me an email it's fine like just drop me an email and we can sort some out i can refund the rest of the membership if you want to quit a couple of weeks early or whatever i'm not going to say exactly how much it will be because it will be dependent on circumstances and how much of the subscription you've been through but there's, there's ways around these things i'm not i'm not going to try and hustle anyone your welfare and your well-being your um, mental health comes first. So if, if I can help in any way, if you're worried about gambling, if you're worried about um, your finances and stuff and getting out of the membership, just just let me know, man. It's easy. It's not, uh, I'm, I'm not going to hold you to ransom over your membership. There's more important things in life and that's what I want everyone to realise. Um, so when you are looking at any football system, any tipping, anything like that, look for people talking about their losses, okay? You don't see it that often uh, and it happens. It will happen with absolutely everyone. I'm supremely confident about what we're doing. Um, I haven't got an issue with, with the system. Um, but some people will tell you that they win out every single day and they don't. It's not true. You know, it, it is not true. Uh, everything, there's variance in, in everything and we'll experience some bumps in the road and then we'll get it back. And as long as you're profiting long term, that's all that matters. So if you're looking at the last 14 games, for example, really you want to be looking at sample sizes of thousands of games, hundreds of games at least. So the last 14 games, yeah, it's not been great, but it's not really, you can't draw any conclusions from that. You can draw conclusions from the spreadsheets that we've got looking at the rest of the results. So, um, But I can understand why people worry, and that's fine. Like I say, I don't want any worrying. I don't want anything. There's no questions asked. If you if you email me, we'll sort something out. But, um, but for those that are still um, on board, yeah, cool. You can ignore this, I guess. Um, I just wanted to, to make this to let people know that there are options and there's help out there. And ideally, not to worry about the variance and just to keep the faith, but blind faith is a dangerous thing, isn't it? So if you have got any reservations, then um, either let me know or just stop placing bets for a couple of days. You know, ignore the tips, ignore the selections that are coming from, from the system. Um, but yeah, I, I, I won't ramble too much. Um, I want you to know that losses happen. Losses always happen. Um, periods of loss will always happen in when you're gambling um there's so many micro uh events so many aspects of each football match that can go one way or another the smallest thing the corner instead of the goal kick being given a red card when it shouldn't have been a red card a goal a, a game where um the weather changes dramatically and something happens and the ball gets held up and an equaliser is scored and then a winner scored or whatever you know what crap i'm talking about so Things happen, but um, yeah, just look after yourselves and make sure that you let me know if you need any help. Cool.